Hello everyone. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Welcome to the Son of My Fancy Crypto. Please, so in this video, I'm going to take you through how to cut and sew a cine top with round neck like this. Invisible zip one, of course, with a the pocket. Then with this open. On this video, I'm going to take you through how to achieve this step by step. Step by step, as you know. So please, if you're new to my channel, try and subscribe and like my video and share to others too. So please stay calm and let's do all this together. Stay calm and let's do this together. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to go by some measurement. For instance, you need to get your shoulder to shoulder measurement or your across shoulder measurement your chest measurement then your across chest measurement you need to get your across uh, across back measurement you need to get the dress length or the shirt that you are sewing the length of it then you need to get your sleeve length you get your round sleeve your slit length you can either pick you can also pick like your round elbow you understand you can also pick your round elbow so on this, as you see, I have, I have folded the fabric into two. I folded the fabric into two. You can see, this is the right side of it. This is the right side. Then this is the wrong side. So you fold it, place on fold. And what I mean by place on fold is that I am not going to cut through the center. I am not going to cut through the center. That is what I mean, place on fold. So you fold this like this, place on fold. Place on fold like this. Then you determine or like you measure your across chest divided by 4. In this case, the across chest I have here is 40. So my 40 divided by 4 plus 2.5 sewing allowance that I'm going to add. So in all, it will be 12.5. In all, I'm going to get 12.5. So now, after you have folded it into two like this, you determine whether... So you you, fold, you measure this way to get your 12.5. You can see. So after you have de uh, after you have determined to do whether that is the side or the... Uh, why that you are go you are you, like you are going to use so this is how to do it so after that you measure your length the length of the dress and here in this case i am going by 35 35 inches so 35 inches as we all can see this is the mark for it 35 inches you see you do the same thing to this side you also measure from here to this side you can see the mark to know so that you can just cut it out this shape just cut it out this shape so on that length you're going to cut it out so as you can see after cutting this is how it will be you will get something like this rectangular shape see that get something like this rectangular shape and this is for the front please take note this is for the front so we are going to get the back so to get a, to get your back, you can either fold the fabric. You fold the fabric, place on fold, as you did for this one, like the way you did for this one. So you're going to do the same thing. So folding for after folding for the back, you can see you also fold it, place on fold. You fold it, place on fold as you did for the front. So if you want. You can either place this one on the back again, then you add four inches, four inches to the length of the front. You either place the front like, you place the front like this, then you add four inches to this length, or the length that you use to cut for the front. You add four inches to that one, then you measure from the bottom here to the length that you want i mean you either add you either place the front on the back and add four inches to the length 
the, the, uh, the normal, the first length that you use. You know, the first one that we used was 35. So you now add 4 inches to the 35, making it 39. So the 39, you want, you just add the 4 inches to this one. To cut, to, to add the 4 inches to this one, to get your 35, uh, your 39. Or you measure from the bottom here, upwards, to get your 39. So in this case, I am adding 4 inches to the 39. Uh, to the 35 making it my 39 so this is the four inches that i added you can see this is the four inches so you are going to cut from here to this then you cut it downwards to get the shape the rectangular shape for the as the first one so after cutting both of them this is how it will be you can see that you can see that the, the front is shorter than the back or the back is longer than the front. See how you put it. <laughs> you see it. So this is how it will be. This is the front and this is the back. So let's slant the shoulder. Shoulder slant. So to slant your shoulder, to slant your shoulder to prevent all those wrinkling at the front. You know, sometimes. Sometimes after sewing for your client, then after he put it on, you can see that uh, you can see that like the front here is folded, something like this. You see that here, like it is folded some way. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Uh, you you will get it, but you you can see that other dresses like some people after wearing there, you see that here will be folded and some wrinkles. We you understand. <laughs> so like to prevent all those kind of wrinkles. So like to prevent all those kind of wrinkles, so you need to get accurate shoulder slant. You need to slant your shoulder accurately. Then your accretures, you need to get it accurate so that you can prevent all those kind of wrinkles. Then so now to slant your shoulder, you will shift the front to be equal with the back this way. Then you see that the space is down here. So we are going to slant our shoulder. So the shoulder slants, you can either slant it by three and a half inches or three inches. But in the, because I want it to be flexible and nicely, so I'm going to use three and a half. I'm going to slant it by three and a half. Slant it by three and slant it by three and a half. See that this is three and a half inches. This is three and a half inches. Uh, uh -huh, as you see. Then from this point, you rule a line to meet. You can either send it to this edge or just anywhere here. But not more than an inch. Not more than an inch from here to here. From this side downward. Not more than an inch. Yeah, I don't know. Here is like half inch. So you rule a line to meet it. Then you cut this excess out you cut this excess out this is it this is it so after that we shift the front downwards so that it will be equal with the back here. See that? Then the SS will come here again. Will be at the top again. So now you will fold the back. You will fold the back so that it will cover the front, like the inches that you are going to hold on the shoulder side the shoulder side the inches like the inches that you're going to hold the shoulder side so that you can fix your zip you can get enough space or enough ease for your zip so i'm going to fold it on one egg uh, one inches yeah i'm going to use one inches just fold it on one inches you see that 
one inches here to the same thing as one inches then i'll press it down i'll iron it down i'll iron it down so you fold it down uh, you fold it on top one inch you see that this one inch so you iron it down you, iron, you press it down this way you press it down this way so now we are going to have our arm armhole curve we are going to curve our armhole we are going to curve our armhole but before that let's get our shoulder line uh, this is our shoulder so let's get our so the length of our shoulder the length is 17 and a half so 17 and a half divided by 2 because it is folded into 2 that's why you are dividing it into 2 17 and a half divided by 2 so 17 and a half divided by 2 you get 8 3 quarter so on this line the place on fold line the place on fold line you place your 8 3 quarter this is the 8 3 quarter then you add half inch sewing allowance half inch sewing allowance so now to get your armhole curve to make it flexible like that the the dress to be flexible on the board not too tight not too loose you are going to use this up the exact measurement here the exact shoulder measurement you either divide it uh, you either subtract one from it or half inches from it <coughs> so in this case so in this case i am going to use eight inches eight inches for the uh, armhole depth eight inches for the armhole, armhole depth so now you're going to have the cuff but before the cuff you see the accurate the exact measurement that you use for the shoulder we're going to place the exact measurement here the eight three quarter here is eight three quarter so you're going to place the eight three quarter here so you get a straight line from this to this you're going to join this line so you're going to join this line so with the help of your curve your armhole curve just place it this way Place it. See that. Place it this way. You see that. So you place it to meet your half inches that you added for the sewing allowance. See that. Then you curve it. You curve it. So after cutting, this is how it will be. So now let's come to the neck. The neck. Then. The, the round neck or the neck measurement is 16 is 16 so this 16 we are going to get our 16 here 16 this is the neck side we're going to get our 16 so to get the 16 the white what i usually do is the white the white of the widening of this this way i use two and a half two and a half so what i do is that the wideness of it i'll use two and a half then the length or the deepness of it i'll use four it's four inches you see that four inches so now you have a curve just curve it you see make it a bit round you see that this is it so now i'm going to cut it out cut this out be careful during the cutting to pass the scissor downward you see lift it up before you cut if you leave it this way then you cut you end up by cutting both the front and back all together and in that case you're going to spoil the fabric because i had, i faced that kind of challenge i had made a mistake and it was very terrible so <laughs> be careful not to also make that kind of mistake so you're going to lift the front up this way then you pass the scissors down then you have the cuff nicely cut it out nicely see that take your time don't rush this one there's no need for you to rush just take your time do it nice because this is the, the delicate part 
of the dress. The neck, after sewing your gata or your dress, then you don't have a nice neck. You see that it won't be. Mm, it will be fine. It will be fine. So after that, you leave this one up. Then you cut it out. This way. This way. So this is the neck. This is the neck. This is the neck. So now, what is left is our sleeve. Our sleeve. Then the back, the yoke for the back. Then the the piping. Then the neck piping. The small piece for the neck piping. That one you're going to fold to get the fabric for the pipe. Uh, to cut the, uh, the small piece for the uh, neck. You're going to fold the fabric bias way on a bias way, then you can cut it out for a neck too. So now let's go for the sleeves. Let's cut for the sleeves. And before we cut our sleeve, you need to measure around the armhole so that you know the length that you are going to use. So this is how you measure around the armhole. You place your measurement by the edge of the armhole calf and you just make sure it lies accurate to so get your measurement like this so in this case we're going to use 11 for the length this is for the sleeve see place on fold i'll fold it place on fold i'm going to cut short sleeves for this uh, dress or for this shirt i'm going to use short sleeves so this is Place on fold, then I'll fold it again. Fold it again. So this, this means that like I'm going to cut it once the two of them all together. Or if you want to, you can fold, cut one, then fold and cut the other. But in order to save time, so that you just cut all together at once. So here I am going to have my sleeve length here. My sleeve length here, then the round arm measurement here. Then I have my sleeve cuff here. So let me just do that and see. So this is for the sleeve. This is how the sleeve will be. That's the short sleeve. Here is the round arm measurement. Here is the length of the sleeve measurement. Then this is the cuff. Just make a little bit cuff like this. So this is how it should be. So to cut your facing for the back or the yoke. So you fold it like half, half, like the way I did it. You can see I fold it like half an inch. Just to knitting the raw edges or to close the raw edges. Then you fold it, place on fold again like this. Place on fold again. See that. Then you place your back, your back uh, to this one. You place the back uh, material to this one. Like this. Then see that. Then just trace it. Cut it out with the neck this way. So this is for the back yoke. This is for the back yoke. See that. From here to here will be like how wide you want the yoke to be at the back. So then after that you just cut it out. Exact shape. Of the back to get your back look after cutting this side will be see that this is for the back okay then that's all for the senator well, that's all for this one for now thank you for watching this video I must comment you did well 
for watching this video at least if you are new to the channel or if you are new to my channel try and subscribe please try and subscribe like comment and share for me stay calm all the best god bless you bye